hey buzz it is jen and i want to come in and talk to you guys real quick about do you need a business plan why do you need a business plan a duh you need a business plan for a couple of reasons okay that's because you need direction you need funding you need a milestone capture okay if you want to know about all this make sure you stick around we're gonna get into it they don't love you like I love you. Slow down. They don't love you like I love you. We just said it, okay? The first reason why you want to have a business plan is you want to have a business plan for direction. A lot of times, you want to make sure that you're hitting all of the right things in order to start your business. The reason why I want to come in and, and, and actually do a video like this is because um, the more I talk to you guys, the more the emails, the DMs, the one-on-ones, uh, the, the the comments, the questions, I'm starting to notice more and more that maybe I'm a little bit ahead of myself when I got into this whole pretty chicks invest. Meaning, many of us are starting, right? We're in the starting stages. And when we're in the starting stages, we can't really be talking about let's create this product. We can't really be talking about let's see how you're in the content market. We have to first figure out how are we going to go ahead and plan this business. So, just in case you didn't know. I actually created us a business planner. So go in the description below, get your business planner. It is a freebie. All you have to do is give me your give me your email. I'll go ahead and give you access to download this. For those of you who are part of my email list already, you receive this. For those of you who are part of the Pretty Money Gang, you receive this, okay? So the first reason why you're going to want to have a business plan is you need direction. And the direction is just so that you can have some type of common core foundation of who's your audience, where are you going to find your audience, how are you going to market, how are you going to receive payment, okay, what can go wrong, when are you going to launch either your product, your next product, or when are you going to launch your first product, or when are you going to launch the business, okay, so that's why you need a business plan so you can have directors, so you can hit all of those key factors like boom, 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 and then you get into potentially going in the description below and grabbing my um, 50 point checklist for the brand new business owner because when you have the business plan, you need to create the business, okay? The second reason why you're going to need a business plan is funding. Now, the reason why I did the one-page business planner and I did this business, uh, the one-page business plan and the one-page one business planner is because this was more so for you to have it for yourself, right? But when you do go and get an elaborate business plan completed, this is so that you could potentially get funding from investors, from, from banks, from angel investors, right? Because when people want to invest in your business, they want to know what exactly are you doing? Well, I'm just not going to throw thousands of dollars at some type of business where they have no plan, they have no intention, they haven't told me what their products are, they haven't told me what their sales are already, they, they don't have any type of projections of what they'll make in the next six months, in the next year, in the next five years, ten years. So... I'm going to let my video slide up here about um, how to fund your business, right? But a part of having your business plan is so that you can get funding. If somebody ever wanted to fund your business, you'll be able to show them a business plan that you have so that they can look and see what you have going on and if they want to invest. The last reason why you need a business plan planner is because you want to have milestones, right? So when you do have your business planner, it's like, okay, this is when I'm going to set this up, okay? This is how I'm going to do this thing, okay? This is when I said I'm going to launch this product. So your business plan or business planner kind of just gives you milestones of things that you need to complete and that you need to hit by a certain time, right? And the time is all up to you because it's your business. But you have to be very, very careful when you do your business plan or business planner, especially if you're doing it for investors, for a bank. You don't want to just run through it. You want to take your time. You want to actually make sure you have the right information because if this is going to be presented to someone for monies, right, they definitely want to see what you have going on. So, you guys, I hope this was helpful. Again, I have the new business planner. It's pretty, pretty straightforward. I suggest you grab it. Go ahead and work through it and start executing on your business. You guys, I hope I, I, hope I was helpful. I'll talk to you guys later. Bye, y'all.